Have you ever wondered what it felt like to see a rocket ship take off but ride on the outside of the rocket ship? Where are we at? What are we doing? We are out here at Charles Birthday Bash Mini Mayhem. It's at Busco Beach here in North Carolina. Cars and Cameras guys invited us out and they have been awesome. This whole place has been awesome so far. So we came in yesterday. See the shirt? We'll start picnic. So we're gonna see you again next weekend. Yeah, in like seven days. Hey, yeah. Scuba! It's a setup right there, man. How's it going? It's going good. I've had like four or five people tell me you need to interview the scuba guy. Uh, are you gonna have time to talk? You know, it might be funnier if I just do an interpretive dance. Oh yeah, I like interpretive dance. So. We rode around for quite a while. Just hung out and um, stayed here late. We play out here at Mini Mayhem. Every now and then, we usually offer up our services, whether it's motor carburetor tuning or even welding. So we forgot our generator, but we brought our welding. Can you give me a quick rundown on what's going on right now? This is Mini Mayhem. You're experiencing it firsthand. It's basically show up with stuff completely underprepared and then break your stuff and then make friends with everybody <laughs> just trying to get through the weekend right to uh, get out there and ride now, where, what was we slept in the car and woke up early this morning did some more riding good morning we're out here at Mini Mayhem. We just got back from the first group ride and it is a dust storm. Mini Mayhem. Thank you everyone for coming out to our spring event to uh, get down and dirty with Charles on his 30th birthday. Yo, man! Yeah. And also to celebrate Mother's Day weekend. So shout out to all the mothers out there who uh, came out to ride. Yeah. And of course, thank you everyone for making this such a special event. Charles has been busy welding. We brought a welder. We did bring a generator, but we found some people that had one and that's that's what this event is all about <laughs> yeah and then the next thing at 11 o'clock we're all going to be hit the drag strip this should be a lot of fun uh charles has something cooked up for you guys that we're looking forward to uh to, to see what it'll do a couple of other guys are actually here joining us so let's show them a good time but they gave us a tilton 212 a stage one performance kit so we have some sunoco racing fuel uh, we're going to be giving away it's a completely free raffle to just go What's up guys, we are at Busco Beach right now. If you're not here, you are missing out because this is an awesome time. I literally just saw a pallet jack, redneck contraption like go-kart thing and I've never thought that I'd ever see anything like that. Here, I'm gonna get the 460 out here on this drag trip, see how it holds up against some of these bikes. Big huge shout out to my boy Charles and happy birthday to him. We're definitely gonna have some fun, you know? Nice. What we got going on up here? I'm no expert, but that looks like a runaway bike to me. Yeah. Evidently, he got that in the background. Of the 
<laughs> so the frame was uh, 2002 XR Honda XR 200R. I bought it super cheap. The guy said that he couldn't uh, get it to run. He started digging in and ended up the guy had put the cam in backwards and it ate up the whole top end. So I was like, all right, well, buying a new engine is going to be too much money. So what can we do with it? So we chopped the lower part of the frame put a 212 on it. I've always liked the scrambler look. So then I was like, all right. Made a custom little front fender, headlight mount, little skid plate. And then it's just a Predator 212 with a uh, stage one. So that, my neighbor's son saw what we were doing in our garage and he's like, hey, I got this old four wheeler. I blew it up. I don't know what to do with it. I was like, sure, I'll take a frame. So I ended up putting a Predator 420 on it. We chopped them at the center of the frame. We put a Predator 420 on it with a Go Power Sports Stage 1 and a Go Power Sports 40 Series torque converter. And this thing's a blast. It'll it'll do donuts all day. He said, you're Thomas with... I'm Thomas with Jumper Cable Dads right. and Scott's still sleeping. Wake him up. going. Whoa there. Mason Pittman, baby. We out here, Mini Mayhem. Let's go. Nice. Short and sweet. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, I think your son posted on my post and he was like, my dad is there. Do you mind if I take a picture with you real quick? One, two, three.
what's going on here. We do a tug of war till something breaks. Probably going to lose a belt. <laughs> They had suspension, so it's kind of already you know, have have that going for it. So it won't take as long to build it. Right. So what this start off at? It was 1980, 185. Okay. ATC. Wow. You yeah. have a YouTube channel or anything? Yeah, it's Metal Man 329. Metal Man 329. All right. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Well, there's your intro. Got me right. <laughs> get up there, Johnny. Like Johnny, get up there. <laughs> I'm good. That's all you. Copyrighted. Last chance to get in the free raffle. If y'all haven't gotten a ticket, you need to sign up for the raffle. Come on. What's the free raffle for? Uh, free raffles for a Tillotson and 30 series torque converter, five gallons of uh, ethanol free Sunoco gas, and a Awesome stage one kit. Nice. They get the container yeah, too? Yeah. Where's this what? Go Power Sports. Nice. Number one place to get go kart and mini bike parts. Except for uh, except for this thing. This you found on a tree, right? Yeah, no, it's until it's a yeah, tree. Oh, yeah, it's a tree. It, was, it was growing yeah. out in the woods. Okay, we're gonna start with the first <laughs>
2023, there might be a fall. We're planning on it. Happy birthday, Joe! Oh, we have to sing happy birthday. You have to. Yeah. Happy birthday to you.